What's up out there, family and friends? It's your boy, the motivational teacher to the masses, bringing you those hits, high intensity trainings. And today shall be no different. But before I get into this new bread breaking, please subscribe to my YouTube page. Please click the bell twice so you will be able to get these uh, YouTube videos as I drop them. I am dropping fresh bread every day and you don't want to miss these videos because this could be your gateway to the life you want to create for you and your family. Today should be no different. Today for a brief moment, I want to talk about owning your life. Owning your life. When I think about the average American, it's so sad that the average American is in so much debt. They are slaves to lenders that we're paying more money in interest than we are in the loan. We're paying 17% on car loans. We're paying 6 and 7% on mortgage loans. We're paying 25% on credit cards. We are not owning our life. We are slaves to the lender. Most of us are going to jobs Monday through Friday that we despise. We're going to a job to get a paycheck to get things. We're trading our time for things. And right now we're living in this constant cycle of like a hamster being on a hamster wheel where we're not, we're not perpetuating our, our future. We're not perpetuating our destiny. We have no vision for our life. You got to take back control over your life. You got to make the decision that I choose now to own my life. I know when you were growing up, grandmama and, and granddaddy and, and mama and daddy told you to get you a good job with a 401k benefits, with some health benefits. I know that's what they told us as we were coming up. But my question to you is, when are you going to be intentional about owning your life? That hamster wheel will never stop until you exit the wheel. It will always keep going in that revolving 360 until you make a deliberate, intentional decision that I'm going to own my life. Yeah, motivational teacher to the masses. I just, somebody out there saying, I didn't know that I was on this perpetual hamster wheel going 360, circle after circle after circle. Well, let the motivational teacher to the masses break bread with you. Your life will never change until you decide to change. You have to take drastic measures to improve your lot in life and to change your lifestyle. It's not just going to happen. Things just does not happen. Yeah, things don't happen until you decide to happen. You are the author of your own lifestyle. You ought to, you are writing your own autobiography. You choose the next steps in your life. Stop playing games and own your life. I remember I was a victim. I remember I made myself, well, my, we grew up, my, I didn't have my dad around. My mom was on welfare and we struggled growing up and I made myself into a victim. And every situation that came, I thought that, man, uh, I, I don't have the money or, or I'm not good enough or I don't have the time or these people have more than I do so they are, they are better positioned and poised to the, go to the next level. It wasn't until I became 30, 29, 30 when I stopped making myself the victim and I understood that what I went through growing up built me to withstand the blessing later on down the road. Yep, I just broke bread. Yep, you got to own your life. Until I turned 30, what I grew up, my poverty-stricken background, my the absentee father, seeing my mom have to struggle every day to make sure we had ends meet, seeing my aunts and uncle having to having to chime in and help out to make ends meet, I I became what I grew up in. Not only did I grow up in poverty, but poverty had grown up in me. And it wasn't until I hit about 30 when I decided that I was going to change my life. And I made drastic measures. I did stuff that was just stupid. Like I don't have a, I don't have a finance background. I don't have money in the bank, but I was stupid. I did stuff that was crazy. The eyes couldn't see and ears haven't heard. I went and I put applications in at a, at a stock brokerage fund. Why? Because I needed to make drastic measures. I left education and I started selling life insurance. Why? Because I needed to make drastic measures. 
and I need to get outside of my comfort zone of what I know and move into the unknown where God could bless me. You see, most of us keep on walking by faith and we say we're walking by faith, but faith starts at the end of your comfort zone. That's Anthony Williams uh, definition of faith. Faith starts at the end of your comfort zone. You will never take back your life until you get out your comfort zone. It's so easy to go borrow 15 more thousand dollars instead of cutting back. It's so easy to go borrow another $5,000 instead of reducing or downsizing your, your house or your apartment. It's so easy to always want to go to Outback and to go to Longhorn instead of eat, living on, on rice and beans and beans and rice for eight months in order to change your life. Yep, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been going into this job that I know I despise. It's, a, it's all right for me to keep going in when I know I despise. Why not step outside of your comfort zone and try something different? Man, I'm breaking bread on this video right here today. I'm breaking bread. Choose to own your life. You don't have to be an innocent bystander in your own story. Use, use your tongue as the, pen, as the pen of a ready writer. Write and create your own story. There is genius on the inside of you that the world will never know only because you've chosen to live in your comfort zone. Hey, what you've done up until this point hasn't worked. What you've done up until this point has not gotten you to your ultimate destiny and gotten you to where you're moving in the way of your vision. Why not stop, start today to make small changes to write down what you want out of this world? Why not start making small changes right now today to incorporate a growth plan in your lifestyle? Why not start making small changes today to live outside your imagination and stop living from your past? I just broke bread it's time for you to own your life ladies and gentlemen this is the motivational teacher to the masses bringing you those hits please like subscribe hit the bell twice so you get these videos as i go live and until next time i am challenging you to wage war on mediocrity i'm out